In this video I'll demonstrate some improved start and end G-code for the Solidoodle 2 printer. Now to speed up this video I've actually preheated the bed and the extruder to some extent just so we don't have to sit here waiting for that. So I'll start the job now. The first thing that happens is it homes all axes. So it's just on X and Y and now the Z. The next command is to heat the bed this has already been done so it moves to the next command which moves the print head over to the front left hand side to heat up the extruder The next thing that's going to happen is it's going to print an anchor. Now this is something I've taken from MakerBot start code where basically it's going to squirt a chunk of plastic into the corner before it starts the proper print. This means that any oozing that's happened as parts have heated up will be eliminated and you should have consistent extrusion from the very first line of your part. Almost up to temp. When the printer made that movement across, the bed was also lowered by 5mm to stop the nozzle crashing into the back right hand corner. Before it extrudes this anchor, it's going to move the bed back to the proper position, the proper height. Okay, it's reached temperature, so I think it counts 10 seconds before it starts. Okay, so now the print starts. You'll see if we zoom in here, the extruded anchor. It's actually a really good way of making sure there's no bits hanging out of the nozzle, which will then clash into your print. I'll just crank up the speed here. This is only a two layer print so it'll be over very quickly. So I'll put the speed up to 170% and see how that goes. Okay, layer two halfway there. Okay, our NG code. The main change is to use the absolute coordinates, so that way the bed can be lowered to the same place every time. So regardless if you've got a tiny print like this, which is half a millimetre thick, or you're doing something really tall, no matter what, the bed will also always go down to the lowest position. Apart from that, the temperature is killed for the extruder and the bed, and the stepper motors are turned off as well. And it's done.